Welcome to a Bass Gallery channel. These chopped up, matte painted prototype cars wear the bodies of today's Mazda 3, but underneath the surface is what Mazda believes is the future of gasoline propulsion. The hatchbacks are running Mazda Skyactiv X powertrain, set to be the first production compression ignition gasoline engine. They are not, however, just for show, Mazda is confident enough in its still under development technology to let us drive the cars on public roads. Skyactiv X is the powertrain side of the next iteration of Mazda's continual push to cut its corporate average emissions ratings while boosting fuel economy. Today's engine families are called Skyactiv G and Skyactiv D for gasoline and diesel, respectively. Compared to Skyactiv G, X is intended to improve fuel efficiency by 20 to 30 percent while also boosting torque 10 to 20 percent, relative to today's 2.0 liter engine. What might those numbers turn out to be? Today's Mazda 3 2.0 liter automatic hatchback, for instance, produces 155 horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque and returns EPA figures of 28 miles per gallon city and 37 mpg highway. So extrapolating, a version with the Skyactiv X engine could boast something like 180 lbft and 3648 mpg. Those are just educated guesses, of course, exact numbers won't be confirmed for some time. The secret to this new performance is gasoline compression ignition, which harnesses many of the benefits that diesel engines have enjoyed for years. Normal gasoline engines set fire to a mixture of fuel and air, which expands throughout the cylinder and forces the piston down. But by squeezing a very lean mix of air and gasoline until it explodes spontaneously, like in a diesel engine, Mazda engineers say the Skyactiv X engine can produce more torque, waste less heat, and use less fuel overall. Many automakers have explored the idea, but no one has been able to get it ready for a production model until now. Essentially, more power is produced over a shorter period of time each time, because compression ignition is much more violent than simply lighting an air-fuel mixture. Mazda research and development engineer Jay Chen likens it to popping an inflated balloon instead of simply letting the air out through the neck. The prototype engine is a 2.0-liter inline-four with a supercharger, cooled exhaust gas recirculation, and electrically controlled variable valve timing. It has a 16.0:1 compression ratio, which is sky high in terms of gasoline road cars, and a higher pressure direct injection system. Counter to most gasoline direct injection cars, the fuel injectors are at the center of the cylinder head and the spark plug is off to the side. Most of the time, the engine runs in what Mazda calls spark controlled compression ignition SPCI, mode. A very lean mix, i.e., there's a high proportion of air to gasoline, is ingested in the compression stroke, swirling around thanks to a special piston design. The supercharger is used to add extra air if needed to thin out the mixture. Then right as the piston reaches top dead center, with that mix almost ready to ignite of its own accord, the engine sprays in another small amount of fuel and ignites it with a spark plug. That explosion pushes the remaining air fuel mix over the edge into an explosion, producing lots of power very quickly.